I think surprisingly the first thing is that, that I'm not really a great mathematician, so I'm competent, but um, I have a lot of empathy for students because I spend uh, a lot of my life struggling with the mathematics as well, so I, I really do struggle with content sometimes, so at the higher levels I know how hard it is to actually learn something new. I spend a lot of time on my lecture notes, I really spend a lot of time preparing and very carefully monitoring exactly how the notes operate. And the main thing I think is that I still work the blackboard. I still work on the blackboard, I still try to present the complete solution to the students. So rather than just giving them a final result, I show them all the gory details, I, I suffer with them as we go through the process. I make mistakes, sometimes deliberately, sometimes not but I really try to make sure that we actually go through the entire content. First and foremost, they're always keen, they want to learn, they struggled hard to get here. Um, regularly in a lecture of 300, 350 students, I'll ask if there's any questions. And I'm just amazed that an 18 year old student can put their hand up in that environment and actually ask a question, to actually have the confidence and, and the strength of character to stop everything and just say that, uh, look, I didn't understand that. And it's true that many questions will lead me to change my lecture notes. So sometimes a very pointed question will make me go back to my office and actually change the way I deliver something. The, I think the other real feature currently, when I first uh, started teaching here, second year engineering was maybe 95% male. It was, it was just predominantly young men. And it's just so wonderful now to see a lot, of, uh, a lot of young girls getting into STEM, going into engineering, mathematics. Um, they're, they're confident, they're articulate, they're affirmative. It's just so nice to see that sort of change happening. You can't just give the students the final product. You can't just present the solution to students and, and just say, there it is. That they, need, they need to see the narrative of the answer. They need to see the solution actually being formed um, they need to see it actually being, being constructed in front of them. So in lectures I always try to make sure that I, I work from beginning to end and that the students can actually see the evolution of the solution and understand why things are done, wh why we do things in certain ways. Um, I, my feeling is that, that a lot of the material we present to students is way too polished. It's too smooth, it's all finished they don't actually get to see the difficulties involved. Oh, a big thank you, of course. It was really a great surprise for me, and thank you very much. And not just thank you from me, but thank you from the school as well. This means a lot to the School of Mathematics and Stats. Um, it's really been quite a, a big thrill for everyone.